gentlemen. I'm Adolf Norju, and I'm hot on the trail of a story. Every week at this time, we travel to some far corner of the world, searching for the dramatic, the unusual, the exciting. And we hope to come up with a story that would be your favorite. Now look, look here. Along the southern coast of the Black Sea, the cities are as old as the mountains, but the people are as wise and as foolish as they are anywhere else in the world. Exactly one minute from now, we have a date with the story in the fabulous city of Trebizond. Thanks for the lift. Are you looking for somebody? No, not somebody. Something. A story. These clothes are out of place. I'll pay you if you trade with me. I uh, don't want to be conspicuous. Thank you. Where is the story in the tableland of Trebizond? In this old lady? In this broken fence? Here's where we'll find it. Here's our story. It is this which gives me this. All good things come from the earth, my friend. It's a wise man who knows how to make the earth work for him. You are a good farmer, Alex. I do not know of another man in 50 miles who could grow such a crop from 10 acres. 12. I have 12 acres now. Oh? Just before planting time, I was able to buy the strip along the creek there. Floodlands, you know, black silt, rich. Just remember, Alex, for a good crop, I always pay a good price. If you keep on getting more and more land, someday you may be as rich as I am. And I have no land at all. Alex, you couldn't sell the harvest. I sold the harvest. You didn't get your price for it. More than my price. 200 pieces of silver. Where's the money? Here. We'll put some aside at once to patch the chimney so that the stove will draw. We'll buy you a new pair of shoes, David. And Grandpa, you will even have tobacco money. And be sure to thank the storekeeper for waiting so long for his pay. And, oh, I knew there was something I forgot. Salt. We shall need a sack of salt. Sack of salt. Alex. Alex, we need all the things on the list. We've been without them for so long. We must have these things. By nightfall, I will have performed great magic. 
I will have transformed the silver into salt and shoes. from Kyrgyz. Now we're going to offer at public auction a farm of five acres belonging to Joseph Bogdurian. Bogdurian? His land is just one farm away from mine. Who will open the bidding? 135 pieces of silver. 150 pieces of silver. That's your father, David. Go and help him with the packages. He'll have his hands full tonight. Where are the packages? Where are the things you were to bring from Trebizond? I didn't get them. What happened to the money? What did you do with the money? I'm hungry. What's there to eat? What did you do with the money? I've had a difficult day. I don't want to talk about it. I want something to eat. What did you do with the money? I spent it. On land. You spent it on more land. Just like the last time. All the profits of the harvest into land. Land, land. What are we to wear, Alexander? How shall we pay the storekeeper? Fix the chimney. Mend the roof. How shall we do all these things, Alexander? You won't say that when you see me plow my new land. It's time for you to eat something, Alex. Thank you. It's a long walk. Is it still warm? What are you staring at? Nothing. Your father's been helping me with the housework. David is studying. He'll be a great student one day. Maybe a doctor. The neighbor woman stopped by to gossip. She tells me Madame Stepana is dying. Dying? She's an old lady. But old lady Stepana owns this strip of land that separates our old farm from our new farm. This fence is here, this, this blockade. I must go see her. With what? With emptiness in your hands? There are many things we can sell, the plow, the pig. I've got to have this land. But will you pay me for my land, eh? I wish no favors, Madame Stepana. I will pay the going price. I have 110 pieces of silver. I would not let you walk across my meadow for that. I can raise the rest. From every window of this house, in every direction, as far as you can see, the land belongs to me. Do you see me dancing, farmer? Do you hear me singing? Do I laugh? I am not even able to get up from this wheelchair to see this land that belongs to me. The strip of land by the edge of the woods, how much would you take for it? A thousand pieces of silver. So much? And I am too old to listen to bargaining. My son, he's almost 15, a fine, strong boy. I could hire him out as a laborer and collect a year's wages in advance. For that land, would you sell your son? How much money have you in your hand? 110 pieces of silver. The land is yours. May God have mercy on your soul. Yes, 
Oh, my the... friends, I've traveled to many places in my time, but none quite so remarkable as the land of Tanutuva. Ah, good evening, Alex. We have not seen you for a long time. Uh, I've been very busy lately. I don't get to the village often. Perhaps you've heard, innkeeper. I've just completed a most crafty deal with old lady Stepana. So? I am now one of the most important landowners in the entire countryside. <laughs> 32 acres, all mine. From the stream in the north to the forest in the south, as far as the eye can see. And the best thing about it is that the land is free for the asking. They're giving it away. Where? Where is this land being given away? The land of Tanu Tuva. You're making a joke. There is nowhere in the world that people give land away. I've just come from there. It's far to the east, many hundreds of miles north of the high mountains of Tibet, but where the land lies flat like a great fertile palm. That's Tanatuva. The Garden of Eden. Tanatuva. Simple people. They live in tents, wear fur caps on their heads and drink goat's milk. Easy to deceive. I knew a farmer once who went there with nothing but his own bare hands. Today, he owns more than a thousand acres. A thousand acres? Can you imagine how it will feel to own a thousand acres? All right. Go. Claim what land you will. But I'll tell you this, Alexander, son of Alexander. If you do not sleep in this house tonight, you will never sleep in it again. land does a man need? It's far to the east, it's far to the east, it's far to the east, north of the high mountains of Tibet. I'm a friend. I come from far away to the west. I'm a friend. I have presents for your chief. I wish you to be friends with me. It is rich land, rich, black, and fertile. The man can't help wondering, is it worth all this trouble? Or maybe the trouble hasn't even begun. Back to our story in a moment. You know, few things are as challenging as a good game of billiards. But when you get up against a shot such as I ran into the other night, well, it's enough to try one's patience. 
This called for a massé shot, one of the most difficult. But I gave it everything I had. Put a lot of English on the ball and... Hmm, not bad. But believe me, after a shot like that, I felt entitled to a reward. And what better than... Yes, today's Shaver beer. Why, it makes your eyes dance just to see it rushing into the glass. A leaping torrent of cool refreshment. Clear as crystal. Shining as a jewel. Topped by a full, rich collar of foam. The sure sign of a great beer. But the sight of a glass of Schaefer, appetizing as it is, is but the smallest part of its pleasures. Won't you join me? Yes, folks, why not join Mr. Manjou in a glass of beer at its best? Light and dry, the quintessence of lightness and dryness. But most important, today's Schaefer has character. That special combination of flavor, bouquet, brewing skill, and tradition. These are the qualities that make beer so distinctive a beverage. Today's Schaefer, the light, dry brew with character, too. It's real beer, fine beer. Yes, friends, remember this. When you want beer, you want Schaefer. Where do you suppose they've taken uh, their guest of honor? When Alex wakes up from his little nap, I'll bet he's in for quite a surprise. I wonder what's going on in there. I must apologize for my people. They are simple folk. They do not trust strangers. Are you the chief here? I am chieftain of all the tribes of Tanatuva. I come as a friend. I come with peace and friendship. My son, why don't you go home? Why have you made this long journey into the sun? What is it you wish to find here? The thing that pleases me most here is your land. Yes. We have plenty of land. We will give you some. Thank you. How much land could I have? Suppose we give you a day of land. What kind of a measure is that? How many acres would that be? As much land as you can walk around by foot in one day. That much will be yours. And now, we will give you a tent in which to sleep. And tomorrow, at the moment of sunrise, until the moment of sunset, you will measure out for yourself one day of land. I trust you had a good rest. Sunrise will be with us at the next turn of the horizon. I'm ready. Come with me, then. This shall be the starting place and the finishing place. Agreed? Agreed. You must return here to the starting place by sunset, not a second later. By sunset. If you fail to return before sunset, you will get no land at all. Agreed. Only one thing. How shall we mark the limits of the land? We have thought of that. Take this. As you measure out your day of land, every so often dig a hole and pile up the turf as a landmark. Make the limits of your new property your own choosing. 
The sun is starting to rise. Will you have a cup of tea with me, my friend, before you leave? No, I must leave at once. How far have I come? A mile? Five miles? Not far enough. And already the sun is high. But there's time. Time for miles of land. Faster. I should go faster. Too hot. The sun moves fast. That lake. I'll have that too, my lake, my land. As much as I can walk around in a day. I can cover five miles an hour, and the days are 15 hours long. A piece of land 15 miles on a side. I'm getting tired, I'm getting tired. I have miles to go, the sun's so hot. Almost noon. If I come too far, if I can't get back in time, I'll, I'll lose everything. I can't rest. Can't rest. This will be the farthest boundary. I'll make a landmark here. There'll be no dispute. Must hurry. Must hurry. Time's going fast. Must get back. Can't lose all this. This land, all mine. So hot. So hot. Must get back. I must. If only the sun would stand still. If only the day will last. The chief, so cool in his furs, and I'm burning. Stay up, son. Give me time. Too much. Too much heat. But this land, this land will be mine. If I can only, only keep going. Heat, heat. I can't stand it. Legs, my legs. So weak. I must, must go on. Must go on. How did I fall? The shadows. They're so long. The day is almost done. Can't stay here. Can't rest. Can't. Burning to death inside. I must go on. I must go on. Alexander, you've almost made it. Can't. I tried for too much. Come, hurry, Alexander. There is still time. There is still a moment of sun left. Hurry, Alexander, hurry.
Excellent, excellent. I congratulate you. You have gained much land. He's dead. Alexander, son of Alexander. You have been our guest in the land of Tanatuva. You asked us for land. We promised it to you. We shall give it to you. Six feet of land. After all, how much land does a man need? That was a long journey, wasn't it? But an exciting one. We hope you've enjoyed it. I'll be back with you in just a moment as soon as I brush off the dust of Tan of Tuba. Well, that's one of my favorite stories. And this is one of my favorite dishes. A strange but wonderful native Hawaiian dish called fish and poi. Uh, first tasted it at Laui Chai's in Honolulu some years ago, and I managed to persuade the Hawaiian chef to teach me his secret. Incidentally, poi is made from the root of a tropical vegetable called taro. Mmm, I wish you could smell that rich pungent odor and taste the spicy flavor of this delicious sauce. And now, only one thing is needed to add the finishing touch, Schaefer beer. Because, of course, good things go with Schaefer. And whether you're indulging in a gourmet's delight or having an appetizing snack, you'll enjoy the light, dry brew with character, too. Character. The superb combination of flavor, bouquet, brewing skill and tradition is what makes Schaefer real beer, fine beer. Ladies and gentlemen, your health. Ah, incomparable. Truly the ultimate. Indeed, this is real beer. Try it yourself. Today's Schaefer beer. And now, I hope you'll make it a point to be with us one week from today when we have a date with another fabulous story which I hope will be your favorite. you'll take another journey with me next week in search of the dramatic, the surprising, the bizarre. Remember, seven days from today, we have a date with a story, one which we hope will be your favorite. <laughs>